All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brapp. You're watching the epic, amazing, awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. I'm very excited about this review today. Today, I'm supposed to be reviewing indestructible shoes, and we will find a way to destroy them. But first, we will put them on, we will wear them, and we will try them out. All right, take a look at this. These are the indestructible shoes. It says crafted for the battlefield. Well, we're definitely going to be battling with these shoes. We're going to see if we can destroy them. But first, let's see if we, how they how they fit. These are kind of heavy. These are kind of solid and heavy. It's kind of a uh, interesting. I, I don't think I've had a shoe like this that's this heavy. Now I love how it says JB for Justin Bright. No, that's for Jailbreak. But that's one of the reasons I chose these shoes. Now this is a uh, cloth right here. It's a camouflage black cloth. It's got a camouflage design in the black cloth on the shoe. Wow, I can't get over how heavy the, the front of these shoes are because they're heavy duty designed not to be able to be destroyed. So that's very interesting. Um, it appears that they are glued along the edge all the way around. So we got this particular model, they come in all different styles, all different colors, you don't have to have the JB on them, all different things. The uh, tread on these shoes look like they're for running shoes. Uh, this tread, I, I can um, push my finger into the rubber so it is flexible. Um, I don't know how uh, well this rubber stands up over time, but I do know that there's metal in the bottom of these shoes that's supposed to make them resistant to nails. Not necessarily nail proof, but they are supposed to be resistant to nails. I am size 11 and a half in the rich people's shoes and in the poor people's shoes I'm a 12. So I'm not sure how these are going to fit. We're going to try it out. Ooh, very comfortable so far. I actually am very surprised with how comfortable these shoes feel. The extra weight does not bother me. I know it bothers some people, but it does not bother me. I'm not used to the laces being on the inside, sticking on the inside because I wear hiking boots. Okay, so these shoes, um, running up and down the hill, 
I take some things out of my pockets that fell out. So I start over, but I didn't quite get the laces all the way tight the first time I put them on because they need to be stretched and tightened up a little bit. So I just stopped coming back down the hill to retie them, but I didn't really seem to have any issue uh, getting up and down the hill. That wasn't an issue. Um, my left foot is a little bit tighter in my shoe than my right foot. Not really sure why. Other than that, they feel fine, they look fine, and they're very sturdy. The other thing I noticed is because they're solid, as a rock, like in the bottom, they're solid because they got that steel in there um, all the way across the bottom. So uh, it is a little more difficult to walk lightly if you want to uh, walk quietly, but very, very solid shoes. And now my job is to destroy them. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. These speed tests keep changing because some people are using this cell and they're not. Look, we're now at 50, 60. There we go again. This is what I was talking about, 63. We actually got up to 63 that time. Okay, we're going to upload again. 18.32 upload. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. I've seen some YouTube videos where people are swinging their sledgehammers at these shoes very softly. I'm going to smash this as hard as I can with the sledgehammer and see what indestructible shoes will do. Look at that. So see, yeah, I was right. Those other YouTube videos I was watching, either they weren't able to swing as hard as I can, or they just weren't doing it because they wanted to try to make these shoes look as tough as possible. But when I watched those videos, I noticed that I could swing a lot harder than they were in the video. So there you go. You guys want to see the real deal. It can be done. The shoes still hold up pretty well, though, actually. And uh, I could, look at that, I can actually, I could bend that back out. Um, it is possible, I got my hand in there, I could bend this uh, toe back out of there and make it flat again. But this video isn't about restoring the indestructible shoes, it's about destroying the indestructible shoes. Alright, so I don't know if that recorded, but here's one of the Full Metal Jacket 38 Special bullets. I have a 2 inch revolver uh, going about 800 600 frames per second. I hit, I hit 6, fired at this 6 times. I hit this one, it bounced off, didn't hurt it. Um, looks like I shot through the shoe here somehow. I don't know if the ricochet or what happened there. Um, and then I shot bullets all into here, but it didn't hurt the shoe. It didn't go through the shoe. The metal toes stopped the 38 special out of two inch revolver. So uh, let's try something else.
right, so we were able to penetrate with the 223 uh, NATO 55 green round. Uh, looks like we did a lot more damage than I thought. Uh, we removed this uh, inner lining of the shoe. Uh, I don't think there's any bullets in here. I'm looking. I don't think I can find any with my fingers. But so it was able to withstand the 38 special, but not the 223. Uh, NATO rounds um, just went right through and uh, I'm not sure why this bulged out this way after it hit this way. I'm not sure if I made it through um, This side first I see a tiny hole Right here. So and there's nothing behind it. So I think I think that's what happened I think a bullet went through this side first left a tiny hole and it pushed this side out over here so uh, we've destroyed the shoes with the hammer. We've destroyed them with a 223 NATO out of an AR-15. Let's see what else we can destroy them with. All right, so in some of these videos, they try to say that these shoes are fire resistant and they use just a simple lighter. This is a double lighter. We're gonna give it a try and see what we get. Ready? It looks like uh, once you blast the shoes open and rip them, they're not as fire resistant as they used to be, but otherwise they're actually pretty fire resistant. They will melt, um, the shoes will melt on top if you uh, use a fi uh, lighter directly on them, um, but they're still intact. The, the cloth doesn't really seem to be that damaged. It's just on the edges where it's ripped that the lighter will actually um, burn the shoes. Now, obviously, I could burn these shoes up, and I have a device that will do that, um, a propane wood burner, or I'm sorry, weed burner, but uh, this, you know, we don't want to get too crazy, too abnormal with the indestructible shoes. Um, we've already done what other people have done with the sledgehammer, with the sledgehammer, and with uh, nobody else, I think, has shot them before. And we used a, a lighter, a double lighter, to see what that would do on the shoes. So the shoes actually do seem to be very, very fire uh, resistant. Um, you know, I'm not sure what else we could do to these shoes uh, to show how tough they are. Uh, let me know in the description of the video uh, what else you think we should do to these shoes to show just how uh, tough they are, just how indestructible they are. The shoe? Um, it's still a shoe and technically you could still wear that shoe. I mean, that's not the one I smashed with the hammer So technically I could put that shoe back on and It would still be a shoe. It would still function as a shoe um, It might not be waterproof anymore, but uh, It uh, it's still a shoe so let me know what you guys think in the comments and Please like comment share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this Please give to my donate and remember, I am. I should make some commission if you buy these shoes, if you like them. Um, me personally, I think they're a very uh, good industrial shoe if you want to work in industry. Um, as far as comfort, there are more comfortable shoes out there. But if you find a pair of these that fits you and you can use it and you can work all day in it, I would say these are really good. Uh, shoes for for working in industrial environment as long as you know somebody doesn't take something like a uh, Sledgehammer and pound them as hard as possible like I did or drop something on them That's going to cause them to fail because that that would be bad. Thanks for watching the video Please like comment share and subscribe to this you Please click the links in the description of the video and go to christiancourts.com Click the donate button because we need your help Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater, okay? It's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast, okay? 
The other thing that you need to do is check out Stray Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk and if you use that coupon you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points so if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk I should get two years of free service worth of points and you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint, it works on Verizon, and it works on T-Mobile and AT&T. Okay, it works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone, you can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked, uh, over to Straight Talk, and you can switch between networks. All you gotta do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone, and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States. And I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that, which I've never used all the data as far as I know. Uh, you can get bigger, better plans. You can get a fully unlimited plans uh, from Straight Talk, but I only pay $38 a month. I use my Blazing Hog for all the other internet, okay? And you guys should do the same. You can also check out how to build a moped.com and how to win in court. Those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer, and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again, and God bless you. Bye.